Hi, I'm Michael Levine, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Crew Neck Short Sleeve Cool T-Shirt by 32 Degrees. Um, this is a T-Shirt that was designed more, I think, to be an undershirt, but functions well as an activewear shirt that you can wear to the gym, do CrossFit, uh, even do running in the street, and I want to look at it from that angle. The shirt comes in a two-pack. I got two black ones. There also comes in white. Size range is small to I think double XL. The price today at Costco is $7.99, marked down $2. The item number is 1188833, um, and it's in the underwear aisle in the carton box display. As you can see from the presentation, nothing elaborate, um, no paper tags or hang tags, just the resealable printed plastic bag. Has a hole here in front so you can reach through and feel uh, the quality and hand feel of the fabric, which is very soft. And it's what 32 degrees wants you to notice. You, the cost of bag is resealable. You can also pop one open and reach in there, take it out, hold it up against your body. You can then fold it and put it back where it was if you decide you don't want it. But I think you should want it. Here on the outside of the bag, they make some claims and some. there's also some additional information that I'd like to just cover briefly. Um, one, you can see here the fabric content, uh, 85 poly, 15% spandex. Uh, that's a lot of spandex, by the way. If you check out some of the garments maybe that you're wearing now, you'll see that 15% uh, is quite a big number. They also have the washing instructions which is wash cold with light colors, uh, gentle cycle, use mild detergent, only, only non-chlorine bleach when needed, and uh, tumble dry low. Remove softly, cool iron if needed. One feature that I just conveniently skipped over because I wanted to stress it is they say do not use fabric softener. And that's going for any performance garment that you're buying today. Uh, if it has any features like moisture wicking, odor control, things like that. If you put softener in your wash, that softener is basically going to coat your fabric. And that's what gives it that softer uh, hand feel. And that coating is actually going to prevent the fabric from performing like it should. Uh, it will cover up the yarns and... Uh, any type of performance feature that they might have which we're going to go over right now So up here you can see that there are six features they want us to take note of uh, Number one being the unique blend of yarns that create that hand feel so that's also you know the poly uh, Yarn itself is probably a textured yarn which is giving it a softer hand feel uh, You have static control which is very nice because if you can't use softener at least you have that uh, static control built into the garment. Anti-odor. This is the one that if you would use softener, you're gonna cover up this anti-odor um, capacity of the fabric. See, on fabric or anything, there's always bacteria present. The bacteria just lying there dormant. When they get encounter moisture, or in this particular case, sweat from your body, uh, the bacteria go to work eating that and give off a gas, which we associate with sweaty people or unclean people, the odor that you get. And so what you want to do is to kill the bacteria, they treat the fabric with a metallic ion. Uh, in most cases, it's a silver ion. When bacteria comes in contact with the silver ion, they die. Something known as the oligodynamic effect. And that's what prevents the odor from... Um, accumulating on the garment and that is going to work well for not only when you're in the gym but then if you change clothes shower and go to work and maybe you keep your clothes in a gym bag uh, when you get home and take them out they're not gonna you know get worse <laughs> all right quick dry which is uh, up here you can see this is a moisture wicking treatment that makes the polyester behave like cotton um, it holds the water like cotton rather than repel it like you would expect a polyester garment to do so polyester naturally is what we call hydrophobic meaning that it repels moisture um, the chemical additive on this garment uh, causes the uh, polyester to act in a hydro 
hydrophilic or moisture attraction uh, way, um, which then allows for it to feel better for one because it's not stifling hot, but it's also picking up the moisture from your body, passing it through the garment, and then helping it evaporate out. And unlike cotton, which seems to retain moisture and get heavy, uh, the polyester is not going to want to hold on to that moisture. It's going to want to give it off. Um, I could tell you that uh, from my experience that uh, sometimes the garment will actually just start dripping, which is much better because my cotton t-shirts, they just get very heavy and uh, start sticking to your body. And so this quick dry treatment, moisture wicking, is going to um, actually be an improvement over that. Stretch comfort, so we have 15% spandex, as I mentioned. Uh, the spandex is actually going to help us uh, with a few other things other than mobility, uh, which is the uh, apparent one. But also, uh, when you take this garment out of the dryer, spandex wants to be straight. It doesn't want to bend or be crimped, so the garment's not going to want to wrinkle. Uh, so that cool iron that you can do to the garment most likely it's not going to be ever necessary. Um, and then also because stretch fabrics have a lot of body to them, uh, they're not going to cling so much to your, to your figure. Uh, breathable knit construction. Well, this is a knit jersey. And yes, it's breathable. Most t-shirts, whether they're polyester or cotton, are knit jersey. And uh, so what I liked about this is that it wasn't so... Um, loose a knit that you can see through it and that's why I feel that it works well as a uh, outerwear outer garment not just an undergarment so all right so enough about the features let's get one of the garments out and take a look at it I should mention these come in both men and women's sizes two garments very soft fabric even the back of the fabric feels soft um, comes with a little label here on the side and dry pack which by the way if these are nice and flat then you know there was no moisture for them to absorb good sign um, if they're swollen then it means that there was moisture in the bag and there could be mold on the garments Let's check out that hydrophobic, hydrophilic property that I was speaking about. We can splash a little bit of water right here on the fabric. Okay, come down here by my finger. So typical polyester, this water would just beat up on the surface. But as you can see, it just goes straight in. And actually, as the water goes in, the fabric is pulling it out, uh, which gives it more surface area to create that evaporation cooling effect and uh, dry the fabric off quickly. So I want to point out a couple of construction features of these garments. One is you've got the heat seal in the neck, so no label to bother you. I think the size label is here in the side seam on the very bottom. You have flat lock stitching on the bottom hem, safety stitch on the side seam, Inset sleeve, flat lock seam once again on the hem of the um, shirt, uh, rip collar, so, and uh, that's about it, pretty basic. Let's take a look, flip it over on the back. So, no logos, no nothing, just a plain old shirt. All right, we have top stitch reinforcement here across the shoulder, so nice thing to hold it, hold it all together. Uh, so here you have it. Fit snug through the shoulders, arms, and chest. Uh, loose around the waist. You have to, depends on your per personal preference. If, uh, and you have to know your body, obviously. Um, I'm 5'7", 180 pounds. This is a size large. And as you can see, um, it seems to fit me well. No logo, no screen printing, which is something that I prefer. I don't like advertising of the company's uh, logos if I don't have to. And I think now the next step is let's go take it to the gym, see how it performs. Does it moisture wick? Does it keep me cool? 
uh, is there any rubbing or anything like that that's going to um, be an irritant and uh, take it through its paces. So I'll see you at the gym. sweat shirts taking up the moisture before we put the garments in to be washed I want to take a couple measurements this is the clean one that I didn't wear um, and just see if we don't get any significant shrinkage uh, when we wash it so we've got 29 center back length and chest at the armhole right at 20 so 40 inches perfect so now we'll wash them both. This is the one I wore. Um, not exactly like it was out of the bag, but certainly not smelly. Okay, so the garments are out of wash. And um, as I had mentioned, you see they come out very smooth looking, uh, limited amount of wrinkles, and that's just because there's uh, so much spandex in the fabric. Fabric still feels nice, still has the same properties that it did, nothing reduced. I checked the wash, um, the water absorbency. Um, when I measured the first shirt, it was a little bit small compared to what the measurements on the package said. Uh, it should be a 42 inch chest and for the size large, as you remember over here. Um, the one I measured was 40. The second one was 42. They both measured the same after wash, which is good news. So there's no shrinkage in uh, either direction width or length. Uh, so overall, that's my review of the shirt. You to determine if you like it or not and if you want to get one. Um, I hope to have more videos like this one. So please subscribe and like my channel. Um, and uh, I have some, at least two more items uh, prepared already that I think are really cool you'll find very interesting um, if you work for a company that would like to produce a product like this I work for a full package apparel company out of Vietnam we produce a wide range of product including men's women's uh, from woven and knit fabrics we have our own knitting and weaving mills in Vietnam um, from anywhere from activewear all the way to tailored clothing um, if you're interested in producing something similar like this or uh, something else, contact me and I'll be happy to work with you and uh, see what we can do made in Vietnam. Thank you.